Welcome back. In this video, we are going to work on the category part of the application. This is the final one, and this is what we are working on. It looks exactly the same. So let's quickly go back to VS Code and then implement the categories. But before we get there, let's look at the logic here. Um, it's pretty much simple because you've gone through the grid system. So here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 items in the grid. So for each, I'll assign each grid to two value, right? And inside the grid item, I have two items, the image or the icon and the text. And these two are inside one box and I use flexbox to align that. But on a smaller screen, when I reduce the screen size, you can see that it goes away and we have these categories as well. So we are going to work on that. For, for the meantime, let's work on the desktop version of it. So quickly, let's go to VS Code. All right, so I'm here. So inside the uh, product folder component, and then I'm a little bit bigger for you to see product and here let's create one file and call this one categories desktop or desktop categories whatever you name it desktop categories dot js okay let me scaffold it until this point i believe you know how it works perfect so i have my desktop sorry my component for my categories so I need the things for that. So first of all, I need to bring in my grid from material UI. Let me bring this one up here. Perfect. And then let me wrap this one with that. So I'm gonna have one container. So I'll call this one container. I'll mark this one as the container here. All right, and let me have some spacing of two. Okay, so now it's time for the grid items and it's very pretty easy to implement. So for the grid items here, for each of the item here, I want to provide on the uh, medium screen, I can provide as one. So I want to have one, one for each. So I'm gonna have 12 items in a row. So now I have one here. So let me copy this one 12 times, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> okay, so let me provide this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Sorry, where did we go here? 11 is here. And 12. Okay, so let's go ahead and then render this component. And remember, I'm going to call it inside a product container. So let me require it here as desktop categories. Desktop. Desktop categories? Yeah. Uh, no. The auto import is not working. Oh, it works. Good. So here I have the featured product here. So after the featured project, project so let me collapse this one and then product list here let me place let me call this one desktop category so let me call this component here as that so let's save it and check it out in the browser there we go you see we have up to 12 so inside of this one i'm just going to place my items inside so let me bring this one here a little bit of it okay so for each of the items here categories i need an image and then the text right so the first one is i'm going to provide typography here so let me remove this one and bring the typography here so right now i'm working on the one item here and let me call this one babysitter okay cool and next is i need to have my box components because i want to render some image inside that 
So we'll set closing and then the component here gonna be IMG image and then the source of the image is gonna be like this and it's from images and under categories folder and then the last one gonna be the babysitter.png baby sitter dot png so with this let's see box is not imported it's not here so typography let's require this component and the box component too as that the auto import all right it all imported here so let's see now you see i have baby sitter here all right and i have the image <coughs> inside that so the last thing is i need to have some class names to the images it's too large so here sx is provide this and i will say the width of this gonna be 40 pixels for the images so with this let's see yeah it looks same as the previous one but i want to have the image be in the in the middle of this one so if you look at the final one they are in the center of the text right so I'm going to provide the box as a, the box, sorry, the grid itself, the item as a flex, right? So for the grid item here, I want to provide a box <coughs> that I'm going to wrap these two, right? So the box is going to wrap these two, right? And I can apply my class name to it. Or better still, I can place it here, SX prop here, and here I will say display flex and justify content to be central of it and then align items also to be central so with this let's see okay no so let's change the flex direction to be column and we are good to go so flex direction here to be column and that is it so now I can copy this one 12 times to replace this one instead of this so let's copy the grid item the grid item here we have one here this is a one and ends here so let me copy this the whole of this grid and then replace the individual grid ones here like that like that the last one is this one okay cool so let me change the images <coughs> from one to and change the text right so here to not waste much of a time the images are inside the categories here if you check the public folder and the images categories you see we have all the images here and then you can require the images according to the text the way you want it so let me quickly do that so for the first image is called babysitter and the next image also going to be the final one the next image is going to be the let me check the images the first one let me start from here the first one here here first one babysitter and then the second one to here i use cinema right so cinema as that Lapping. okay cool so now we have it so what about the border around that around the categories here so what we can do is that on the um, grid what is it let me look at the final one yes we have a border around that so you're going to provide a divider right or even border box around this one so let's go back to the actual wrapper here as a parent and then for the styling for the grid um this one 
remember that we also have this one so let's also apply some um, flex box to it justify justify content here to be central and let me also provide is this let me provide not just center here let me provide a space between space between so let's see the result now for these changes okay let's see now we have it okay <clears throat> and align items here to the center because the grid container is flex box by default going to pass in the sx prop okay cool so next let's provide some custom css sx here and let's say the border here let's provide border and give it one pixel solid and the color is hashtag let me remove one of this tag here hashtag e0 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 so let's see what we have achieved there we go but let's provide some margin top and margin bottom for that so inside here let's say margin top let's give it eight pixels that is eight times eight and let's provide margin bottom here at four and then margin left to be auto i think it's pretty much it's cool okay yes there we go so next is that you are going to work on the categories for the mobile version and then when on a smaller screen i want to remove the this category list and use the select as you can see it's been scrambled together so let's work on the mobile version of it and then we can display it accordingly based on the screen size 